Welcome to the Improve and Have Fun podcast. I am back with Jason G, and we just finished coming out of seeing the gentleman Guy Ritchie's latest, uh, his Yo. latest uh, kind of like gangster comedy uh, movie. He right? went back to his roots with yeah. this one. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So, Jason, uh, what are your thoughts on the gentleman? As always, we do these reviews fresh out of the theater. Like literally, we just came out of seeing it, and uh, we just saw the movie, and um, it, yeah. It, it, it's fresh in our minds. It, you know, it's, it's really nice to see Guy Ritchie going back to his roots, you know, because <coughs> I know me, I I'm love I'm under the weather, stock excuse me. And Two Smoking Barrels, and then he made Snatch, which those two are amazing. Um, the Rock and Roller was Rock great. Rock and Roller was awesome. <clears throat> he, I think he did one other one. Um, the, what was the other one that he did that was kind of like that? With, it was kind of a, 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 un, a weird, unique movie with the guy from uh, one of the hip-hop artists, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, I'll, we'll look that up oh, later. Wow. But anyway, this was a return to that original genre that he's always known for, you know. And um, it was a lot of fun. It, you know, it, it actually feels more like a, um, like you said, uh, a Pulp Fiction uh, or a Quentin Tarantino movie than, than his other movies because he, he did a lot of slowing down of the dialogue where, like, Lark Stock and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch, it, it's like the pace is, like, nonstop. It's like, but this, he slowed it down for a lot of it and he builds it up. It is slow like, a few times, but, but it's a nice build-up. It's a great, great ending. It, it's a good movie. I recommend it. It's funny, like for January, right, we're getting, we've seen two good movies this month so far, so, and this month is about to come to a close now, yes. and uh, I agree, this movie was so much fun, we laughed several times, uh, Hugh Grant was fantastic, uh, to me he's the <laughs> highlight of the movie, but it's good yes. to, and the thing is like, you, uh, there's so much kind of like British slang, and uh, you know, the, the Wolf of Wall Street, they said that uh, the mm. number of times that he said, uh, Fuck is like this record number of times. So I wonder for this movie, like the number of times they say cunt in this movie, cunt. it's like a probably a record or whatnot, you know. <laughs> but um, this was so much fun. This is we laughed several times, and uh, it's very witty. It's very sharp, and like I, that's a great point that you said that because it, it's true. In those other earlier movies, they're so uh, at a breakneck speed with the dialogue back and forth. You don't always catch all of it, but like you said in this one, he slowed it down, and um, it's good. To, I, I think this is like the first really exceptional movie I've seen Charlie Hunman in because I, I love him from um, Sons of Anarchy and he was really fantastic yes, here yes, like yes. I didn't see uh, you know we saw him in Pacific Rim he was good in that um, I think that's the only thing that we've really seen him in before is he, is he British or yeah, he is he is, he is, he is. Okay. and uh, I didn't see The Lost City of Z uh, but yeah, supposedly that's good I never saw that but he's fantastic and it's like oh, I said the cast very, very was just Colin Farrell was fantastic and uh, this the movie is so much fun very, very enjoyable. Um, and I was thinking this in the very beginning since like shared universes are so popular now. What if Guy Ritchie made a shared universe with all the characters from all these movies he's made? All yes. these gangster kind of movies he's made. And honestly, that would sure. not surprise me. Yes, I'm talking yes. about in this day and age of shared universes, right? But uh, it was a lot of fun. And it was easy to understand as well, even with all the slang and in terms of the flow of the movie, never boring, always engaged. And... Uh, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, I really <laughs> enjoyed this. I really did. I really did. Like, this is a movie, um, I don't see a lot of movies twice, but this is a movie easily like you could throw on oh, and yeah. like just kind of watch it again. Because yeah, you can, you, there's so much that you can miss. Because, you know, the, 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 the plot goes, it's not like uh, super hard to follow plot. No, no. But, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's going back and forth and, and, and it's kind of told. It, the, out, the out way of, it's told is really wild. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So, but anyway, so because of that, it would be a fun movie to watch again, for sure. I, I think you get a lot out of it watching it a few times. I think the way it was told was very, it was very cool. Like, in the sense of, like, Fletcher, who is Hugh Grant, he's describing pretty much this chain of events as a movie script that he's trying Correct. to sell, which I think is really, really to funny. To Myra Max. Exactly. <laughs> to Myra Max, who is actually one of the, like, one of the, the production, production company companies, for this right. movie. And uh, in the end, like, you see him going to the Myra the Myra Max, uh, uh, like, it looks like the, the studio head or the, or the chief, and, right, right. and he's, like, pitching the movie to him. But the way it's told, where he's explaining this chain of events to Charlie Hunman and the, through a movie script that he put together, 
And then it's even like the movie script. It says it's called Bush, and it says by Fletcher. Like by one Fletcher. name. Bush Bush by Fletcher. Like, yeah, Bush <laughs> by Fletcher. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, like I said, fantastic movie, and uh, it's good to see that he actually used some American actors in this one because I think in the other um, movies and the other Guy Ritchie's other uh, gangster comedies. Um, it was only Brad Pitt, was a, right? I think, yeah, Brad Pitt was an American actor, but he didn't use a lot of American actors in here. You know, he had a, he had right, a couple, right. you know? But uh, fantastic. And they, they kept their accents, too. They didn't do other accents or anything like that. Fantastic. And uh, he is really the modern-day, I would say, king of this genre. Like, who was yeah. touching him? Who was touching Guy Ritchie in this genre? And I, I can't think of anyone. Like, yeah, this, yeah. This, this genre, like, any time it's like appointment viewing, like, he makes one of these. He hasn't made a bad one yet. And, uh, like I said, each one of these gangster uh, comedies, they're fantastic that he does. Yeah, I yeah. think, I think um, it, it's, it's really fun to listen to different accents. You know, because, it, you know, I, I'm not an expert in all the different British accents, but there's more than one type of British accent, right? You know, he made the Cockney accent famous from his... Uh, other movies, right? Like Snatch and yeah, and and um, you know, it, it, Pikey, it, the Pikey it, accent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, you, like, so you mentioned about like him uh, maybe doing a shared universe. Like I was just thinking, like imagine he had um, Brad Pitt as the Pikey show up in one of the scenes, exactly, like, That's like coming out of a bathroom or something. Exactly, you know? <laughs> hilarious. I could totally see it. I could. I swear. Or like you know, taking a totally dump in, in between cars like he did in the first movie. Right? <laughs> you know? I can totally see him doing a movie like that. But uh, we're scoring it now, Jason. Unless you have any final comments. Sounds good. No. Uh, um, for me, this was an eight. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, it's not, it's not like perfect movie, but it's a movie that I, I think that uh, I don't even think a, a January release is deserving of this movie. I think it, you know, deserves yeah. something a little bit because it was that good. We really very much enjoyed this. Seriously, I very much enjoyed. So this was an eight for me. This is really yeah, good. Yes. I had a lot of fun I, with I, this. I think I'm going to say the same thing. It was an eight. I was, I was going to say that. Um, it, it is, it is um, a lot of fun. You know. The, the guy from uh, Crazy Rich Asians is in it, Henry Golden. He was and, so good. And he's really good. <coughs> he's, he's getting a lot of work. <coughs> and, um, you know, originally Excuse he's not me. even an actor. I think he's just, like, done some, like, travel show or something. He, he, he does a great job. But, um, Excuse me. So I, 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 I will match that with an eight. So that's an average of eight. <coughs> eight and eight, average of eight. And, yes, folks, please um, go check it out. The Gentleman by Guy from the director of Aladdin. And, uh... <coughs> Our good friend Paul is a little under the weather, and he's coughing a little bit, so he's going to drink a little water. So we're going to close this up. Stay warm. Spring is uh, just a couple months away, and uh, see you at the movies. Take care, and have a great day. Bye-bye.